a brief 150-year history of the Young Women Organization. Spring 1870. With the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad, President Brigham Young, Eliza R. Snow, and other leaders were concerned about new influences that were coming to Utah and affecting the attitudes, behavior, and fashion of the Saints. In the parlor of their Salt Lake City home, President Young spoke with his daughters about forming an association for young women to help them gain a living testimony of the truth. The Young Ladies Department of the Ladies Cooperative Retrenchment Association was formed, and young women wrote guiding principles for their new organization to improve in knowledge, self-improvement, gospel learning, and health, and to do good in the kingdom of God. For 150 years, young women of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints have built on this foundation. Let's look at a few of the historic moments that have made young women what it is today. Soon after its beginning, retrenchment societies were established throughout Salt Lake City and other settlements in Utah. In 1877, the title of retrenchment was changed to the Young Ladies Mutual Improvement Association. The initials MIA remained a part of the program for many years, even as part of the class name in English, Maya Maids. In 1889, the Young Woman's Journal was published, a magazine that continued for 40 years. In 1912, the first girls' camp was held and seminary began. The first personal achievement program for young women began in 1915. It was a summer program called Beehive Girls. Some requirements included care for a hive of bees for a season, harness a team of horses at least five times and drive 50 miles, keep the house free from flies for two weeks or destroy at least 25 flies daily, Clear sagebrush off one half acre of land. These important skills allowed young women to contribute to the health and well-being of their families and their community. The Beehive Girls could be heard reciting the Spirit of the Hive motto, declaring their commitment to seek knowledge, love truth, taste the sweetness of service, and feel joy. In the 1920s, young women met in groups as juniors and seniors. They began participating in temple work and researching genealogy. Throughout the 40s and 50s, they earned emblems to sew onto a beehive bandolo, recognizing their achievements. In 1965, the first for the Strength of Youth pamphlet was published, as long familiar standards were put in writing for all to study and share. During the 1970s, the name of the organization was shortened to Young Women, and the first general women's meeting was held. In the 80s, young women classes met on Sunday for the first time as part of the new block schedule and recited a new theme with seven values. In 2008, the presidency added an eighth value. Now in 2020, Daughters of Heavenly Father are known by the unifying name of young women. As covenant disciples, they participate in the children and youth program where they seek and act upon personal revelation and strive to become more like their savior. The living testimony spoken of by Brigham Young has become a reality as young women across 182 countries speaking over 170 languages participate in the work of salvation and exaltation and prepare the world for the second coming of the Savior.